some 37. We'll look that up. Right. Why would you we know, do that, Vincent? Because we got to have things to do. Yeah. Do you know what time it is, Vincent? It's time that you already pushed the button, and it's go time at reallibertymedia.com. That's right. <laughs> XYZ. Surprise, well, everybody. 20% <laughs> off with me, Flash Somebody, impersonating the great and gr what else could he be besides great? The the many Vinnies that he be. That's right. <laughs> say, say hello to your co-host, Vinny. Yeah. Ahead, Vinny. <laughs> hey, Flash. How are you doing? Good job of How you were Flash. How this are you this great. evening, sir? <laughs> oh, ah. Awesome. I'm over here in Denmark with my uh, beautiful wife, Circle, who is so smart and wise and musing. Ah. You having a good time there? Having a great time, buddy. Okay, I can't do that. I'm too high already. Stop it, Vinny. <laughs> anyway, this is me, Flash, at 20% off on the reallibertymedia.com tonight. And my co-hostage this evening on my solo program that I do alone is Vinny. <laughs> Say hi to bots and bodies and all that. Say hey. Hi, Vinny and the bots and bodies. <laughs> Oh, you're really doing a good job of that. Thank you. Barman's at the top and beat him. <laughs> you, think, uh, you think he rolls balls? I've heard yeah. of Beetle. Grimner, he's the actual great and mighty right there with Moose Girl. And DC with his back brackets on. Asmo Chalcedoni. Mr. Free Enslaved. Enchained Unbound. That's right. Graham Z, she's uh, puddling around somewhere. And I be Doncy. Or IBD on C. I ain't sure what all that uh, tells. Java Doctor 2 and Meister Brow, the one and only Woody. Ponder Gander, that I be. That's me. Uh, Kate in Rome's Vanna White. That's our bot. Uh, me, right there. Again, one of the many, the Vinny, right there. Weather Dork tells you uh, if it's raining outside or not, in case you can't open the door and check for yourself. Woodman and Phantom Anti. This is uh, one of my favorite guys here, Mr. Anti, sure enough. And we've got some new folks that have been coming along here. And uh, Choskura is be one of them. There's the lovely circle right there. And Cyborg Noodle. Now, Grammy Mary, she'll tell us about the, the cyber, really uh, something kind of delicious that it be. Duh. Huh? Who, what, when, and where. And in Civ. Flash somebody right there. That's the actual. Uh, that we're going to have him. The real Flash somebody. The real. And front, Gromit, and our very own Scotsman, Mr. Nines with the J's. And Kiss. And here's the new somebody, Matt WJ2002. And moi, Mr. Schnick. Such a snickerdoodle. Poopster. Now, Poopster and Prince right there together. They're coming on tonight for their debut on Real Liberty Media at 11 p.m. Eastern time, and that's the uh, the Poopster and Prince Power Hour. So come on along. Let's see what that's going to be all about. We'll put some pond sauce all over it or right below it because there it is. And the real Donnie Wu. That's right, the very real one and only Donnie Wu here with you, and sock puppet and smart ass, and the holiest Roger and Miss Van Meter, the holiest Roger. Van you know Meteor. Van Meteor. I saw you posted that, and there she came back in the chat. That was just like some of that timing I'm always talking about. Yeah, they, they bounce in and out. Sometimes uh, it's a little bit difficult to stay online, depending on what you do to get on it. Yeah, I got knocked out today with the storm coming through. And then I there's know. that. Yeah. So how'd you weather the storm? Uh, mostly got skirted by... Or it skirted me, that is. Yeah. We had a big one here just the other night, too. <laughs> a big <Man>. one. <laughs> we had it's a big not, one here. <laughs> it sounded like a tornado, dude. The th thunder was uh, just continuous. <laughs> Sound, and it just barely missed me by a few miles over here. Well, I got, you know, some of the, got some of the skirtings, I guess, fluttering around the rain and wind. And, yeah, I was certain there to be a pretty good chance for a tornado. You know, when it starts 
throwing the big limbs off the tree, not big limbs, but big twigs, should I say, off the, the trees and the leaves were falling and stuff was kind of the lighting, the light, the color of the sky, the lighting of the sky. Hmm. Did you take of pictures this time there, genius? Uh-uh. Wow. You never think of your fans. I know. And you, you have some diehard fans, too. Yeah. yeah. They I, support uh, They support your work. You should yeah, be I, proud. I am. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop I'm picking on you, mister. Smoking. I'm still smoking, baby. What's up? Yeah, I figured that much. Well, I, I've got a little situation tonight. Anyway, so tonight I wanted to talk to my pal Vincenzo about refusing to main order to maintain order in society. I'm and for the new listeners that uh and I don't see that Prince has made it in here for uh, uh -oh. they don't like us already, I, man. I maybe they're busy doing things. Well, they got white privilege. Yes, for those that don't know, yeah, uh, I also play the role of sheriff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking to uh -huh. hire a deputy. I need a deputy. Oh, you're looking for help. <laughs> you're fucked. Well, yeah, because uh, there's there's a problem with that. What what kind of problem? Maintaining order, isn't that what you're talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but see, a lot of us we refuse to maintain order in our society. We don't we don't maintain order. We just go out there and do shit. And where's all the order at that these people are concerned with? Order at what? You know how how does society not work? That's got people all fucked up all the time. I think it works just the way it was supposed to work. Well, we're slaves to fucking rich people. We do what we're told. Or they put us in jail. Yeah, it's worked the way it's designed to. Now, Rome's wants to blame it on, was it Rome's blaming it or free? It's, yeah, Rome's, right? Blame it on capitalism. Mm -hmm. And But Grimner uh, pointed out pretty much uh, that it's not really capitalism that we got here in America. No, it's called capitalism, but right. it uses every dirty freaking trick there is to... Uh... Crony capitalism. Oh, there you go. Fascia. What yeah. is that? Fascist? Yeah. When the... Uh, see, the fascism is when government controls the private industry, but really and truly, the, the private industry controlling government that controls power. Yes, private there industry. you go. Built down to the private person. Where it's interfering uh, then with the uh, livelihood of uh, of man, hmm. and that's that's how I would boil it down. Hmm. Well, the livelihood. See, there's a few of us on the radio. One of them's leaving soon, like the end of the month. I won't name her, Miss Mary. But uh, me and Mary share a value, and that is that, in my opinion, and I, I'm just gonna use me, but she agrees with the concept of it's kind of disgusting to us people in our little group that uh, we feel <laughs> that it's fucked up that you have to pay a fee in order to survive, you know, eating food and drinking water. It's not like it's, you know, television or, you know, something extra that you don't need. It's, it's something you can't live without it. So to put a premium and controls on, on what we are allowed to have the way the state does, it's just fucked up. Well, I like Cambridge when I go to the uh, the dictionary online. You know what? I've got my own big, fat, handheld dictionary. Oh, ah, the good one. Yeah. Um, so Livelihood by Cambridge, this is the uh, the way you earn the OC. Now, this is why I'm starting to not like them so much. They, they've probably been revised. <clears throat> but we'll get <laughs> yeah, yeah. The way you earn the money you need to pay for food, uh, a place to live, clothing, and so forth. But that's not really what livelihood is. It's not money. And here there is their next one has money in it, too. So, yeah, I think I lied about Cambridge about liking them. <laughs> well, hmm. man, but still... You got to remember, people have their own personal opinions about shit, and they think that an opinion has a value. 
So first will you got to crack is to define what an, an opinion is. And that hardly, yeah, hard, I've never been past that with anybody I've had to argue about it with. Neither you well, know or you don't. Here, here's another bad one from vocabulary.com. It says, uh, your livelihood is the job you work to earn the income that supports you. That's more crap. Come on. Wait, let, let's go look over here. This is sciencedirect.com. I'm going to actually click this one out of the preview. It says, uh, learn more about livelihood. It is uh, t -t 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 livelihood. Security of a fisherman was assessed. I don't like this one either. Let's see here. Hmm. There, there was one that had it pretty much lined up. It's pretty much just that's you living this world and getting about and gathering your food and shelter and clothing and all them little things that make you happy. Um, they call it in the Constitution or whatever there that they had uh, supposedly be living by this government thing. The uh, yeah, other pursuit of happiness or property is more... Uh, was it was known as property really and then they kind of had to say well let's uh let's fix this up a little bit church it up and we'll call it the pursuit of happiness and i like that the pursuit of happiness <laughs> what well, makes me happy and i ought to be about doing it now if it makes you unhappy should i stop what my pursuit of happiness um hmm. depends on how far you're gonna bother me with it yeah, where's that line? Where's I mean, that border? If you're where's... if you're pursuing your happiness in in Arkansas, in the privy of your own house, I don't I don't care if you find having sexual, you know, intercourse with a dead rodent a problem, as long as you don't videotape it and send it to me. Thought. But you know, know, that well, I believe sure. in total freedom. I mean, you know. It, <laughs> Whatever you Wait, want to do is your business it's time until you for tell me. Laugh track. Why? Yeah, I was pontificating. Oh, you're so funny. I was pontificating on my Jewy Jew side. Oh, oh that was a that was a duh freebie right there. Mm -hmm. Everything's free. It was only four seconds long, so. But Vin, Vince, doesn't it strike you as just kind of tilted that just to live? Costs money, and and if well, you that's because and, that's how the system's designed. You right. gotta have days, right? Well, no. If you refuse, there are ways around money. They there just are, uh, right. huh? It's a different lifestyle, land. Oh yeah, way different. And the quality of people is so much, uh, so much different than the social norms. But even without the money, there's still the handout, is there not? Uh, how do you mean? Well. Just go about it all in exchange of labor for food or uh, shelter. In, or in a clothes. sense, I mean, you know, whatever your partnership is, the, the stronger of the two will, you know, be in charge of certain things. And whatever the other one's strong at, they'll take care of that. I and, feel like I should have grapes or something. <laughs> well, society's just got us all bent on this gender shit. You know, women this and men that, da 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 Where's the equality, you know? Uh, Grimner makes a good point there. Oh, let me read it. Hmm. Ah, go ahead. You read it out loud. Because, uh, you know, a, a live rat is still alive, and you don't have the right to torture a live life, right? That's life. what the duct tape is for. You're nasty, man. So they you don't explode. <laughs> you not species. <laughs> don't care. All I'm saying is... As sick as people can be, I don't really care. What bothers I, me is if they come out and and I'm in public, and they want to flaunt their pers you know personal uh, scent of disgusting in my face. Now, fortunately for me, I don't live in a big population where there's a whole fucking shitload of weirdos that want to parade around and draw attention to theirself. You know? Weirdos hey, here travel solo. <laughs> hey, are we on serious? I don't know. What's serious? Who are you asking? Uh, somebody. Well, I guess What's Grimner. Somebody? Grimner! Uh, Grimner alert. Grimner alert. Vinny has a question. Oh, I just got a thing on Skype. It looks like. Who's this from? Probably yeah, Chuckle Chuckle. But don't you like having your uh, 
personal freedom not invaded by weirdness? This must have been yesterday. Ah, uh, you're reading again. I'm yeah, on a Dr. deep Dr. thought Dr. here. Oh, what's Dr. that? Telly sent me a message on Skype over here. and I didn't Uh-oh. Know. Better answer it. I, Could be important. I, I, no, it's from last night. So oh, okay. I guess it figures I'm probably not answering. <laughs> it's Skype. <laughs> you forgot about wire or you didn't tell him? Uh, no, he's he Skype his main tool of... Uh, you know, intercommunication. Oh yeah, I know. I, I remember the old days, pal. Right. That's why. But anyway, I've accidentally left it open. And, I, uh, right, right, right. But see, but, when I evolve, Vinny, I do. I go to the next fucking step. And yeah. if you stay behind on the step I left, nice knowing you. Well, I, I don't. Not on Skype anymore. No, I got oh, an account, but I think I open it about once a month to see if my brother's been around. Oh yeah. Ah, eh, we're fighting again. Oh. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, I know, but we've been doing this for 50-odd years. And, you know, somebody's got to be wrong. <laughs> so, But, you know, don't... Uh, I, I can close a door, but I can't do it on blood. The blood closes the doors on me. <laughs> and I'll leave them be. I don't, I don't, I'm not a stalker. Don't be so Cyrus. What's so Cyrus? what about uh, serious? I don't know. Yeah. He's and no twenty percent off is not on Sarah's XM. Maybe PBS. Well, we don't do anything all that ex no, all that <laughs> great on twenty percent off. I just thought it would be a, a good way to get over the jitters of doing it alone, the radio, because I kept losing Mary and you. So, yeah, yeah you, it worked. It's it served its purpose. But now that I'm over it, I want, when I do a show, I want to have something to, to to talk about. And I don't know. been doing it for a while, so I feel kind of, hmm, where do I well, go I, from here? I've got you a little bit right here where to go from. Uh, from <laughs> the New American yeah. and torture the data. Do yeah. not go softly hmm. and the poor be damned. Hmm. What we have here is government by plutocratic authoritarians. Who gleefully dole out millions to a wealthy family and then just as gleefully go out of their way to deny food to millions of poor families. But that's the way it is, according to Jim Hightower. Are you happy you, now? No. Do you know it's hard to light a candle? Hmm. Easy to curse the dark instead. <laughs> yeah. Find your way home. There's no going back. For the world's none more wait let's see for the world's for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand come away oh human child carry on my wayward son for there'll be peace when you are done mm. you know that was a just a big glob of paraphrase plagiarism right there i, I hope so I, I thought i liked it hey you know what i was just thinking about no you president I don't want to be president, but thanks for... Not you, you president. The USA. The guy with the orange hair. Come on, you know the guy I'm talking about. I promise a free stocking horse to all that will vote for me. Huh? Say that in English. I said free stocking horses for all that <laughs> Okay. Ah, free stocking horses. How nice. Uh, well, what, so what do you think of... What do you think of this Trump situation? I don't follow Trump. He's an idiot. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. All right. But when he started out, okay, somebody made a joke about, you know, Donald Trump in the White House, he'd be the only president that could ever have America in, uh, go to war with Denmark. Right? And they said that as a joke. Mm -hmm. Now, he made this nonsense freaking comment about Greenland. <laughs> In case people don't know what autonomous means, I suggest they look it up. Greenland is not for sale to any fucking country or whatever. You have to invade it like you do everything else. <laughs> but anyway, so because yeah, because wait 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 because yep. Trump wouldn't uh, they wouldn't entertain his Greenland offer to talk about buying it. He threw a fit and canceled the fucking visit <laughs> good for him 
Wow. Yeah, he's got better places to go, by the way. You know, he can go to Israel where uh, he's the king of the Jews. <laughs> Why waste your time on a peddly little old crap hole like Denmark? I know. I know. But the king of the Jews, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, I would follow him anywhere. Would you? As long as I'm not awake or conscious. Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't think. What kind of trouble could Donald get me into that I haven't already been in alone? <laughs> You to pedophile island. Oh, well, yeah, there's that. Okay, bring up the one thing. <laughs> hey, so you know what? This is the way it looks to me. Uh, You're not going to like this. Call it. Wait, Peter Steen Island, is that? I, I, don't, I don't know. But it seems I, to me that your entire government, okay, all of them, fuck little kids for kicks. You know, that's kind of looking pretty bad. Just saying, because all these people were all involved with this Epstein guy at some point. <laughs> so, if he was poking little kids in the butt with his stuff, guess what those other people were probably doing? They call it guilt by association. This is the one time where implied consent is going to work for us. <laughs> by the time we're finished, we can have fucking janitor at the White House guilty of pedophilia. If we do it right, How you spell sting? clear the whole fucking place out, burn the building to the ground and tell everybody it's over. <laughs> See what happens. That's the best I could do on the spelling. Hey, let's just collapse society and just tell everybody it's over and see what they do. Mm. Like a war of the worlds only without all the war. <laughs> it's on. Never mind. Yes, it's on. Uh, oh, I, got, I just see something. Did you? I just found this girl. Yeah, uh, Sin Chaplin, C Y N for Cynthia mm -hmm. Chaplin. And so I, I popped these two tweets in there uh, earlier in the chat. So why I'm so anti gun patrol? But this one here I really like. Where'd it go? Uh, crap. Well, I don't. I guess know. she's got a lot more post here, so I lost it. Go ahead and let me go find it. Oh. Uh. Oh wait, no, I found it. Okay. There it is. Wow. In a perfect world, you gotta love this. Wow. This, this is what she says. In wow. a perfect world, how do you like that? In a, per she's talking about me and you, Flash. Who is? Sin Chaplin, Cynthia. Or Sin. I don't even know yeah. who she is. I don't either. I just found her, but oh. right here, I thought this was real, real cool. It said, "In a perfect oh. world." And lo and behold, I figure she's talking about me and you. Right? Oh, that's not an awful nice thing to do. Well, I mean, I'm just thinking. Uh, well, that's because you're an egomaniac. Well, anyway, you know what? I was just thinking. You want to know what hit me? What? I was thinking about all this confusion that we all have with the different time zones. And I think I found a solution that would solve everybody's time zone problem. you got to know what the cause is, first of all. Okay. Global the, the, the cause is is that we're yeah. all basing our, you know, our times off of different time zones. So, wow. instead of using the East Coast or the West Coast, why not use Grimner's time zone for whatever time that it shows in his time zone, and, and you can add or subtract yourself from there. And just make it a standard. If you want to know what time the show is, figure out what it is from Grimner's time zone to wherever wow. you are. Well, well, we'll call it the Enchanted... Well, I don't know if he'll bother with it. I'm just saying it just struck me as because we got the time change coming up in October. and Man, for a week, that's just all fucked up. <laughs> or no, two. I, I, boy, God, <laughs> I would not change my clock. I just changed what time I had to go places. Well, exactly, Vince. But see, that's the whole point is this time thing is man-made any fucking way. They can do whatever they want with it. And just tell the sheep to go along and they do. It doesn't matter. It's Where do you think the best place is for the for imperfect people to live? Hmm. And that's be more specific with the question. <laughs> imperfect well, people live everywhere the same. Like I, I'm imperfect. I so live where I live. You're not perfect. But what well, no. I'm just going back with the. I'm imperfect. Chapel. Yeah. You said in a perfect world, remember? I said, oh in yeah, a in a perfect world, world, anarchy would be the most civilized system. But yes. We're not yeah. America is the best system for imperfect people, she says. Oh, yeah. yeah. These flaws in America and 
She will see the alternatives around the world. Oh, she sees the alternatives around the world. Yeah, and I agree with this. There's no other country I'd rather live in and prosper in than America. Okay. And I wave my wow. flag to you, sir. Wow. We America. Yeah. Well, I'd fart in your general direction, but that you, that line's been overused. Can you sing any song with the word America in it? I can't sing one, but I'll send you. I'm going to post one for you. How do you like I'm those apples? Fighter, I'm going to post an American song from my pal, Vincenzo. And this here song is by a Mexican, baby. All right. And this Mexican has a name, too. But I ain't going to tell you until I post it. But the okay. title of the song is America. So, well, keep talking. I'll take me a minute to do this. I got a duck. <laughs> you uh, are a duck. Or I was Vinny Duck last night. Oh, were you? Yeah, okay. yeah I put on my feathers. And... <laughs> wow. Just <laughs> says I ain't no egomaniac. I'm a bull rider. That's right, baby. Now, hey, you, yeah, you tuned in. Yeah, you tuned in. Who's tuned in? It's Prince. He's going to be debuting tonight. Yeah, well, they got their own thing, and they're on California time. He's nine hours earlier than I am. So, wow, whoops, that's me doing that. Uh-oh, okay, I paused it. Wow. Whoa, uh-oh. I didn't. Uh-oh. Right. Yeah, I can't call. Okay, wow. Stop it. I'm trying to. It got away from me. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I had to close it. Ah, Link got away from me. That was fun. Don't know what that was all about. I, but you used a rocket. And other people use Spreaker. Spreaker. Yeah, yeah. I I probably have Spreaker on my uh, Linux, but Linux. I like whatever. I like Butt. It's the best broadcaster that I like. What? What? I'm getting what? 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 Uh, jet or whatever rocket was like bouncing me off and stuff trying to use it. Oh. I kicked that off there. Me and Grimner did. Oh. Yeah. You right and Grimner butt. did right in the butt. Hey, you better watch saying that people are going to get the wrong idea about you, weirdo. What do you mean? Keep talking about putting things in people's butt. Oh, kicking it in the butt. Oh, okay. Just making yeah. sure you're not going all strange kick, on me kick here. Kick the rocket blaster for butt. Kick the rocket blaster for butt. Hmm. What, uh, what number wow. does that speak of? What number? Is, what? Who is the old man? Probably Grimner is birthday Saturday. Oh, yeah, it is. You, man, and does Beth, anybody uh, read Beth, the damn text in this room ever? Uh, I'm Beth's just wondering. Birthday is tomorrow, our second yep, favorite. Friday. Canadian. Well, my second favorite Canadian. Oh, your second favorite. How do you how do you put one Canadian over the other? Wow, well, here, here aren't here Canadians equal? I'm prejudiced. I, oh, I, I, I okay. can't, can't fault wow. myself. For that. Can I? I don't. I can fault you for shit, so you don't have to be bothered. Listen, I would take fifty Mexicans over one Canadian any day of the week. That's this is America. I think I'd, yeah. give, I'd give a thousand hey, Mexicans. What happened to him? I think he got scared talking about. Oh no! Yeah, I had to. I had to mute because my uh. My YouTube thing just went all fucking on me. Oh, out of control. I'm back. Prince is laughing at the butt talk. Of course, he's going to be doing a broadcast with the poopster. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Cha-cha-cha. But, see, I don't usually mess around with music while I'm live because of all this shit. Because of all these idiot rules. But. If you look at the chat screen in front of you, sir, on the reallibertymedia.com, case in point, one, Carlos Santana doing his version of America. Well, that's your favorite song. It took us, four, what, 14 minutes to get to this? It took us and what? The best you could come up with what? is a song. Yeah. America. That's it. Is, this a, is that the name of the song? Or yeah. Is that the band? No, read the fucking title, pal. What What do you need? You need me to read it to you? 
What do you play? It says, Mister, it says, Santana featuring P.O.D. Stop. Stop. America. What? That's Carlos. Carlos! And who is P.O.D.? I don't know. Whoever uh, does the vocals on that track. He did a he did an album called Shaman, and he had a lot of other people doing vocals because Carlos don't sing. Carlitos does not get to the microphone, my friend. No, no, no. But he can make the bend on the strings very good. You know, people pay him a lot of money to bend the strings on his guitar while it's on. Yeah. Where they can hear him. It's amazing. Yep. You know what they call it? Music. Uh huh. Hey, you knew already. Cool. I thought this music thing was new to you, the way you reacted to it. <laughs> I posted a link in everything. <laughs> you smart. You smart like Michael. Ah, uh, no. Poopster's not coming through for Prince. Listen, I'm going to tell you this, Mr. Grimner. Uh-oh. If you're broke, don't fix it. Oh, there you go. There's an original piece of advice. Who'd have ever thought of that all by their self? Huh? I huh? did. Huh? Well, there you go. See, don't get on that gravy train whoa, wagon whoa, whoa. where What's you think you about? know everything because we're stupid, Vinny. It's a terrible place to go. Do you do you feel smart? Oh yeah. Listen, here we go. Uh, I don't know. I think I already said this. Ooh. But let's do this for fun. Mm. Yeah. So this is part of the uh, pretunication for tomorrow. Ah. In the uh, domesticated terrorist. Ah, the dom- that's such a great line. I, you're someday that's going to be famous. Maybe like that's in gotta, eighty gotta years. Yeah, yeah, you're a domesticated fucking terrorist. Little no, child. I'm not. You no, are no, no, too. No, no, no. Yeah, you are. No, 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 no. You're not. You see, you've not got the full communication. Oh yes, I have. I'm just <clears throat> going to argue with you about it because a bit farther down, yeah. and and we get to <laughs> inside the notice in the news, and that's a. <laughs> You'd be able to click on that and uh, go to Hal Anthony. So oh, in this okay. black tide rising, there is yeah. no such thing as overkill. Mm. Only open fire and cover me while I reload. Now that's that's the view from uh, well, the domesticated terrorist, I would say, and that is maximum thirty-seven. And so I got this where you'll be able to click, and it'll open up to all these maxims, and it has to do with like uh, warfare and. Uh, um, what do you call those guys that get paid to be uh, mercenaries? mercenaries. So here's Maxim one pillage, then burn. Mm. Huh. That's kind of the way the, uh, yeah. Cause if you burn it first and then try to pillage it, it's going to be a real nasty night. Yeah. And yeah, then you, you're going to be a really bad guy. I'm telling you. Well, listen, then you get the guys to go in there and rebuild it and make the money off of that too. And what do you do? You, you give all this democracy. Okay. To these give people. me a minute. I'll be right back. All right. So maximum maximum two is a sergeant in motion outranks a lieutenant who doesn't know what's going on. In order, uh, ordnance uh, technician at a dead run outranks everybody. Look, close air support covers a multitude of sins. That's close air support co- covers. Now this is really telling in all this. Close to air, air support and friendly fire should be easy to tell apart or easier to tell apart. If violence wasn't your last resort, you failed to resort to it to enough of it. Let me uh, hold on just a second. Let me make this bigger. Make it easier. to. That's much better. Okay, where was I? Uh... Number seven, if food is good enough, the grunts will stop complaining about the incoming fire. Hmm. Mockery and derision have their place. Usually it's on their far, on the far side of the airlock. Oh, oh, never turn your back on an enemy. Sometimes the only way out is through, through the hole. Everything is airdroppable at least once. A soft answer turneth away wrath. Once wrath to wrath has looked the other way, shoot it in the head. Do unto others. Mad science means never stopping to ask what's the worst thing that could happen. 
Only you can prevent friendly fire. Your name is in the mouth of others. Be sure it has teeth. The longer everybody goes according to plan, the bigger the, the impending disaster. Ooh, that's number 17. If the officers are leading in front, watch out for an attack from the rear. The world is richer when you turn your enemies into friends, but that's not the name of the game. That's not the same as being, as you being richer. <clears throat> I thought I was going to read something else that was not there. But. Hey, Flash, we're back at, and you're here with number 20. I'm back with number 20. Yeah, if you're not willing to shell your own position, you're not willing to win. Are you really ready to take this? Am I going to take what? What they're dishing out here. Well, I don't think there's a choice to take it or not. Oh, That's my I whole get... point. That's the reason I talk on the radio. You don't have a choice in any of this. You think you have choices, I've... but there's no choices. I've got a choice right now. I'm going to exercise that right now. and I'm going to turn off the ad block on the uh, <laughs> site right here. TVTropes.org. That's where I'm getting this from. It's called Quotes uh, Schlock Mercenary. I'll just grab the link and uh, bring it over for everybody else. I can read the rest oh. of them. How many are there? There looks like I have a long list here, my friend. Wow. And if there's a list that long, mm -hmm. there's 70 of them. Mm -hmm. The last one is failure is not an option. It is mandatory. The option is whether or not to let failure be the last thing you do. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that one like that one i don't like i don't know i don't like anything what are you crazy hey you know what i've noticed people complaining a lot about lately i don't know but i'm gonna agree with duh <laughs> i lost you oh no i'm here i was okay, waiting for you're you. gonna go with duh <laughs> is that what you said go with central time yeah. Isn't that where Grimm's at? Is in Central. He's in Mountain Time. I Mountain Time. Central. Okay, crying out loud. See, that's why I'm going with well, that because I'm in Central Time. Makes the sense. point I was trying to make: it, it doesn't matter whose time zone we use. It would just help to use one time zone instead of everybody always being at Eastern Mountain this time, that time. It was all Eastern Time, say. Then you just work from Eastern Time. You don't have to think about it. But that's what I. Tried to evolve myself into. Yeah, well, you started it with Hal being at, on at uh, noon o'clock on the yeah. West he Coast. Started. Well, then he started. He gives a shit who fu Okay, I thought it was you because I heard you say it. I don't really care. The point is, all the confusion, it's what we're going to do, man. It's people, you're herding cats. <laughs> I just wanted to have something fun to write about on the notes. <laughs> Because yeah. I know there's one thing that ain't going to happen. Well, We're never going to all do the same thing at the same time. We're human. You know how human. many ducks I've befriended in, in uh, the other channel that you can't come to? Four. 342, but you was close. See, that's how see that's how wonderful it is to be over there, is that all you do is spend your time killing ducks. <laughs> I'm not killing ducks. <laughs> Befriending them, killing them, same it's, shit. Uh, not befriending them no. i'm just captured them if killer capture that's my uh capture that, i would add that yes killer capture yeah. i'd make that uh uh the what do you call it the number 71 over there on that thing mm. what did i tell you it was i don't know TV i trope. wasn't paying any attention no uh, the schlock mercenary thing uh-huh no but the, i'll open it and i'll throw a copy thing. into the notes for their reading it. approval what do you think of I think that it's Axioms. Wow. Maxims. Maxims. Yeah. Max quotes, it said. 70 maxims. And you can add my number, 71. Okay. Kill or oh, capture yeah. is the best policy. Oh, okay. Kill or capture is the best policy. Well, okay. I don't know. You like it? I don't. See, I don't do that shit. Well, Get I'm me the guy that way. makes things up around here, sir. Well, maybe so, but kill or capture. If I. Nah, that's permanent shit. Kill or capture? You yeah. Can let uh, go later. Capture them. Well, then why bother at all? Because ducks are evil, and they represent the all the evils of the world, and they must to be you. Healthy. To me, they're, 
they're just little animals that live in the water on the way to town. I see yeah. them every time I go to town, quack, quack, quacking their little butts off in the wop, wop water. Listen, we have to Big have crime. somebody. Okay. Hmm? I blame the ducks. Well, that's because you're insane. It's not your fault. Thank if you. I was insane, I'd probably blame the ducks too. But you know what? I'm not insane. So you know who I blame? Hey, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, but you know who I blame? I blame Vinny. Vinny's influence on us all has brought us to this low in life. Yes, folks, Vinny did it. <laughs> so he's taken off to go somewhere. But I stranded him. I, I had a dog and cat situation going on over here. So I muted and went to, off to do my, you know, <laughs> my bullying <laughs> Because uh, I tell the animals what to do, and then they do something else. Just <laughs> animals. Anyway, so we're here at 20% off. And me and Vinny were given a, an, uh, given a shot at discussing refusing to maintain order in society. And that flows over to the, I guess, to the Internet, too. Because it's, it's, it's social. On the internet webs, it seems there are a lot of people that want to tell you how to maintain yourself. <laughs> and if you don't agree with them completely and totally and support everything they support, well, they get a little bit hot <laughs> type stuff. And, you know, life goes on, but wow. We're so, you know, we're wrapped so tight right now, especially with this guy in power, this Trump idiot. This is the best. Hey, Vinny. Hey. I was just on a rant stalling until you got back. Yeah, I, I like what Grim says, and I tried to use that before GMT. What? Oh, what is, oh, General Mountain Time. What, what is G for? Greenwich. Greenwich Mean Time? Where the hell is Greenwich Mean Time at? Yeah. See, we, we, we're we herding cats. There's no way to do this. But I don't know. You you post it before it goes live on the RLM if you're reading the RLM. So. Hmm. I like to say at the top of the hour or something like that. Yeah, well, it's kind of clear. Right, top of the hour to you too, Sonny. But it's, guy, guy. He's, he's got that next thing. Anybody can put next in there and find out who's on next. You don't need a secret password to get into it. Don't you know anything about the internet, Vinny? <laughs> so, here so, it is. It's, uh, okay, GMT, I'm good with this. It's in jolly old London, Greenwich. Meantime. Greenwich, you English butcherer. Rur, rur, rur. <laughs> it says, how you spell which? Yeah, well, you'd say it. Exactly. English is like that. Greenwich, Maine uh, You know what? I once lived in New Jersey. And in New Jersey, southern Jersey, there was a town. And that town, I'm going to write it on the internet screen. This is how they spelled the name of their city. All right. There's a All right. Greenwich, Greenwich uh, what is it there? New York, Greenwich something, village? Yeah, Greenwich Village. Yeah, Greenwich Village. Yeah. But that's how, that's how you spell the name of their city you know how they said it uh, take a yeah. guess take a guess i don't know say that word bueno there you go you know how they said it where they lived uh, hold on a minute i'm gonna answer the phone. hey he's gonna answer the phone these people in uh, <laughs> new jersey even the mexican folk called the city buno <laughs> so <laughs> i don't know I've never had any faith in language. Man, language can be manipulated and bent, twisted and changed and just cultivated and whatever you want it to. You can paint any picture, picture that you like. But there we are. proving your picture, that's when things get sticky. All right, I'm going to finish reading this. This is what are you reading? Top of the search from BBC.com. Yahoo! Greenwich Mean Time is a time measured on the Earth's zero-degree line of longitude or meridian 
And this runs from the North Pole to the South Pole, passing through the Old Royal Observatory in London, suburb of Greenwich. Mm-hmm. So that's it, man. We're going with the jolly old London from here on out. <laughs> I'm an hour. I'm an hour later than London. Yeah, you are. But you know what? It really gets confusing mm-hmm. is because everybody doesn't do their time change that they got to do every year. Same Does, time. Doesn't the compute? Yeah, well, right. They got us all dancing at different speeds. It's ridiculous. So, how can you trust a fucking system that operates under these kind of conditions? It's hard to it. Well, I if you run your life like the government runs the government, they put you in jail. So, what does that tell you? I don't know. You know, and then you know, why some don't change your time like Arizona? <laughs> How would I know that, Benny? Well, I, you're if like you're telling me it, for the first time. I've never, huh? I didn't know that. I'm new to yeah. me. You're kidding. I have been where I'm at for a long time, pal. And it probably didn't, didn't pay attention that before that. Does not change your, you know, there's a place up there in the Midwest, up around, probably don't know, don't know where it's at. Mm. Mm. But they, they like, well, there's one that they kind of cut out in, uh, keep their time with somebody else's time zone there next to them and then there's some place i think they change their time for 30 minutes i might be wrong about that one uh-huh. but that would do just change the time for 30 minutes and leave it alone uh-oh work, work are we still you. oh man you gotta have time change how about i blame, I blame global uh, uh <laughs> really where it really starts <laughs> the whole time thing all Don't messed man. up here we are here, here we are in this world that's burning like an onion ring, and, and people are like, they're they're rooting it on. They want to see more shit. They haven't seen enough shit. I can't understand this. There's so what much shit going on, and they want more shit. Hey, that's the thing about Trump's followers, uh-huh. and uh, I think anti was it anti. Well, we were talking about anti. It. That, that a Trump anti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anti. We were talking in chat. Oh, I think oh, oh. and. Well, I, I'd like to explain a little bit of it because there is this uh, desire for the great meteor, the apocalypse. And all this, <laughs> yeah. Call. And the, this far right Christians, that's what they're, they're rooting for because they've bought into this idea that came from the pulpit back from the even the eight, uh, middle 1800s and where they've taken and adapted the scripture into uh, this apocalypta and this time era at the end of the age when they'll usher in the return of Christ. So this uh, tribulation period, uh, apocalypse, is, if you will. Uh, and that's, they see, I think, uh, even if it's just subconsciously, they see this guy as the one that will uh, bring about the end of the world. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, no, I, it's very serious. And it's I know being, it's serious to you. About. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not uh, serious to me at all. If the planet blows up, I'll, I'll probably go with it. So what do I care? I'm, I'm not going to live worrying about when some idiot's going to nuke us all. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You know what? What? I talked about that storm that skirted here a couple of nights ago. Yeah. Real, real yeah. close. Yeah. And I thought it was going to be a tornado. And I was outside. I had no idea it was coming. I went outside and <laughs> blowing up as I came out. And I, just, I said, this could be a tornado. And I had no fear. I said, that would be cool to see. You know, if, if that's where I go, when I go out, that'd be a cool way to go, man. I'd ride that sucker, dude. I'd jump on it and ride it like a, one of the mechanical bulls. How would you videotape it for YouTube? I guess I wouldn't because I didn't have my camera in the hand. You'd have to get somebody to stay behind and film it. <laughs> oh, it'd be uh, it'd be one that play back in my uh, <laughs> after a lot of things. I don't, yeah. do. You, come on, do you really take all this end of the world shit seriously? And see, the, yeah, if it's true, do. you're gonna die. Then what the fuck, right? So I it, have and of... I've been hearing these stories since I was like a child, ten, eleven years old. Oh, the end of the world. Oh, they're going to blow us all to smithereens. Oh, this, that, the other thing. How come I'm still here? You know, it's not like there isn't enough violence to go around. I just I just guess I didn't get my fair share. Because the world I live in compared to the world I read about on the Internet is two different worlds. 
the world I live in has freedom of speech and uh, <laughs> the right to walk around and do what you want as long as you keep your hands off strangers in a bad way. Not much to know. Same as where I'm from, you know, there wasn't much to it. But the world is, you know, getting ready for the apocalypse. I was looking for that. Oh, I've got that open in two places. The apocalypse. I had something open on that, and I'm not finding it. I must have closed the tab. I'll have to search it again, or maybe I'd have put it in. Apocalypse. Apoco oh, it's a song. <laughs> Isn't it? Let me look it up. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and look that up? And while you're looking it up, uh, hmm. you know what? I'm starting to believe that. Let me find what. Well, I don't believe people got any guns. You don't? No. I think it's just another American story people talk about. And all these guns, there are always millions and millions of guns and trillion bullets and all this shit. And the only time anybody ever uses one is when they work for the government or they're on psych meds. I'll have to search my history later. I ain't finding it. Think about it. I mean, if you're a bad guy and you're broke and you got to go out and make some money, where are you going to get the money to buy a gun to go out and buy bullets so that you can go out and earn a living? It doesn't. It's not. You might as well go to a bank and borrow money and buy a car. Well, in a lot of apocalypse movies, the uh, actual bullets are currency. And uh, they were uh, two bits. Let's see. Uh, that was the value of a bullet. That was half a quarter. And so um, that was actually has been used in the past in the Western oh, Western days as a, a form of uh, trade. So it's apocalypse or kiss and booth. I think they can go together if it was a diseased operation. <laughs> I don't even know where that came yeah, from. Yeah, that was just like my wow. mind reading out. Man. Wow, you people are all crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing. Hey, I'm telling you, man. It's a good thing Keith's around or we'd all be fucked. Because you know what? I am a long, tall Tulson and I wear a big white hat. So? Idiot. Yeah, I saw you riding your electronic bull. Uh, <laughs> that was, you got a great sense of humor. Because I'm telling you, it, it was goofy to look on it before you got on it. So I thought, <laughs> wow. And you actually did it. So, hey. I crunched my um, mad <laughs> Yeah, big door. And thank God the operator saw the look on my face. It's like, oh. A little to the left. <laughs> anyway. Well, I still think that in life, in physical life, you go out into the real world and, and do shit that I would never even think of doing. Really? I yeah, and then I think in my life that I do shit that you guys would never even think of doing, let alone consider doing it. <laughs> let alone do it. <laughs> but, well, it's a long road. I mean, everybody's got their own fucking life, right? Yeah. And, and we all think our own life is so freaking unique and this, that, and the other. And it pretty much isn't. There's just people that went through less or more of this or that. I, I disagree. We uh, are all very unique. Uh, but ah, bunch of unique, robots. Our uniqueness is lost in the masses. What? It, yeah, there's less value giving to given unto each individual's life because there's so many. And people are hardened and people die and we become used to it and that's what we get well that's because of all these great people in power and all the great decisions here i'll post an idea on the main feed of the rlm right now this is out of one of my links i'm reading Fire well, the hope, i've been reading here oh cool idea but i got a glass so i might have to put myself on mute while i toke up or i'll try to be sneaky about it let me see how i can okay. pull this you flash this in nonconformity and free thinking. And is it a mental illness? Is yeah. It? Read. Read the freaking thing I just posted to you. According to the newest edition of uh, DSM-IV, that is Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorder or di di Disorders, 
It certainly is. The manual identifies a new mental illness called oppositional defiant disorder or odd. Defined as an ongoing pattern of disobedient, hostile, and defiant behavior. Synonyms include questioning authority, negativity, defiance, argumentative, shut up, I'm talking over here, and being easily annoyed. And I did say easily. Twice. Thank you. You're welcome. But see, now this is what goes on because you got government. These lying thieves do this shit behind your back. And they all get together and figure out ways to make money off us. And there you go. Next thing you know, if you uh, if you got mad at somebody, you have a mental disorder. Wow. Okay. You know who Edmund Burke is? Uh, the name's familiar, but I can't, no, I can't tell you what he does. Well, from a Forbes quote, he says, When bad men combine... The good must associate. Else <laughs> fall yeah. One by one, yeah. an unpitied sacrifice in a contemptible struggle. We're in trouble, pal. Let me just say that as as a life form in life, this thing does not work very well. It could work so much better. And it takes a lot of effort to ignore certain shit about life. To enjoy the shit that's not so disgusting. <laughs> you know, if you're always focused on the negative, you can't really enjoy the good shit. Because there's, you know, mounts of both. Depending on how you interpret it. Because, you know, one man's ass whipping is another man's jar of mayo. And sometimes good people do terrible things. Absolutely. And vice versa. But when they're not held accountable like they are in the societies that we live in, the crime is punished, but never the criminal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to include this link over that people can look at later on. Uh, and I'm going to be covering this tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, uh, it's from the ACLU uh -oh. and how USA Patriot, Patriot Act defines domestic terrorism. <laughs> uh, hey. There's some good Let's see if I'm open to where I was. And did uh, you well, give any thought to the looking up your um, red flaw lags in your local area? Because there's uh, I, like I 10. Or, and I, think I opened it, but I don't remember if I did. I was meaning to look at it. There's 10 or 20 states that already have them enacted. And there's states lining up to jump on the bandwagon. And there's mm -hmm. dead bodies already from the cops fucking up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Going well, Arizona. there was one in Maryland. Okay. I'm just assuming, though, if there's one, there was more. Because it's a big country. Huh. And these red flag laws, you know, when you got somebody, doesn't matter if they're mental or not. You go to somebody's house and say, hey, I'm here to take a gun away from you. You tell me how they're going to invite you in for tea and give it to you. I don't see it happening that way. But I'm well, just, uh, me, here's something that would relate, I think, uh, in this link I'm going to bring over. You know, seizure of assets, section 806. Uh, of uh, of the act could result in a civil seizure of their assets without a prior hearing and without them being convicted of a crime. It is by far the most significant change of which political organizations need to be aware. Section 806 amended the civil asset forfeiture statute statute in uh, to authorize the government to seize and forfeit all assets, foreign or domestic. So I, I guess this could even be included in the, the guns things, but this is on the because talking about here on this uh, this uh, domestic terrorism business here, so I had something in here. I'll have to find it for air tomorrow. But uh, that that's was, kind of ties into your to your topic too. Yeah, uh huh. Because, and it goes with the. Well, I, I meant to have that red flag law. So if you posted it, did you? Have you posted me a link there? No. The red flag I law. I will. Thing? Hold on. Yeah, because that's part of what I want to include. I have a long ways to go on finishing building this. So. And it, it will be like the rest of them. It'll be incomplete. Uh, it'll be uh, a beginning anyways. And, uh, but I need, I've got some other old stuff that I wrote that I have to go back and bring it. So I need to wrap this part up. And I've about got it all tied together except for just a little bit. So, But like I say, there it is. So. What I just posted was the link that I took that line out of. Off the grid. You know, I used to do a program. I uh, guess I was doing, uh, off the grid. Uh, 
for. Well, I got tangled. Upgrade journey. It's free. Oh, that's a mental illness. Where's the uh, where's the red flag logs? You got one on there? Oh, hold on. Uh, no, I just I opened up um, New Mexico because I was talking with Grim about it, but I closed it. Okay, that's so, right. I'll find it. I, but I, I was think thinking, I... <laughs> but I was thinking more particularly the state that you reside in, because some states have them already. You might not know it. If, if you, just matters of <laughs> finding out. Well, you know, according to law, a firearm is. Uh, uh, it's center fire, something that uh, projects an explosive, pro, uh, an explosive projectile, right, from a center fire. So, 22 rim fire would not technically like be uh, a firearm or a BB gun, air rifle, whatever, CO2. But they've come along in many places and tried to uh, re reclaim the definition to say anything with a trigger. So I don't know how uh -huh. that. I really don't worry about it. No, but that's how they do that. They, they just uh, update something, bring it to you know up to date, and they rewrite it, mm -hmm, just like exactly. they did with the uh, the laws regarding income. Income was once defined as profit made off of an investment, and later on, after the IRS and all that shit got 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 a good grip on us, then they changed the the definition of income to include labor mm -hmm. but it's both Lively. it's That's like they change livelihood into uh money and a job and all that but it's both illegal and immoral to charge that's a man for tax on his labor that's right but they what do it anyway how, yeah. how they get away with it is just beyond me I think it's because well, you, you signed the paper to, to do it. You're begging them to let you, but you don't know that. See, that's what it really means. But what they tell you is not that. They tell you something. You have to do this. No, you don't. You guys really need, should read this uh, article from the ACLU. And it's really funny. I, I, the place I was looking for, I'll have to find it later, but uh, on uh, so-called conspiracy theories, and they really lay out the whole damn conspiracy here and then say you're nuts for thinking it's true. And then they go to make a definitions on people of, uh, um, sovereign citizens and so forth. But I recommend the reading this article because the people listening here are the ones that uh, have the ability to cut through. Now I was chided by some folks for wanting to get this, uh, uh, interview with this uh, Bill Fulton fellow, the FBI informant on the Schaefer Cox case. But uh, I, I think it is important to be able to, to peel through, to be able to handle these snakes. And uh, I go forth uh, fearless. I I demonstrate that I will, will go stand in the gap. And there's a right way and a wrong way. And then the people that I'm going to stand in the gap for have done it the wrong way in so many ways. So this is what we want to find is not me a, being an educator, but uh, my education along the way and uh, just sharing that. So uh, I think we all have our own uh, responsibility to ourselves, and we can't blame it on anybody else. It's all our own choices. It's uh, who we are and where we're going is by the choices being made, and it cannot be a collective. It has to be a single uh, decision by each of us to, to do or not to do, to go in the right direction or not. Oh. Well, I agree with that, but I think that the uh, the idea of personal self responsibility has been jacked around with, as far as the definition, just like income. So people misunderstand what it really means. They think it it's they think it, all, most of it is mental. And it seems like they think it's got something to do with something that you physically do. And I think all your uh, all your most important acts are done in your head. Yeah, well, you know, Jesus talks about that in the Bible. Oh, but does you, he? You know, okay. Your thoughts or actions. If, uh, you know, if you have murder in your heart, then you've kind of done the deed. How? Okay, and how deeply do you believe? See, there you go. It's all in that that self-interpretation. You see it from this side. I see it from that side. 
But I agree with that. I think that once a human being tastes blood, we're off. That's that. Yeah, and it gets easier once you've done it. Any Anything does. Any experience that's uncomfortable when you start, after a couple of years, you get good at it or used to it or whatever. You adapt. Your mind adapts. Look at the crap we've been fed, water and food and all this other shit, Coca-Cola, right? Cigarettes, Coca-Cola, whatever the fuck it's been. They sold it to us knowing exactly what they, we were doing and we were lied to. And that's okay. Nobody's accountable for fucking anything that, that really matters. They're only accountable for this stupid shit that you can't prove one way or the other, like pedophilia, pedophile island, and all this. So, you know, I got everybody in the fucking world knows all about this guy that was doing this shit back in the day with the president. All the, okay, but where's the change that comes from having the knowledge? Okay. Well, I can I can say it this like uh, Grimner was saying here. He mm -hmm. says better principle than interest. And I say that principle should rise above interest. Hmm. Well, I can I, I guess I was kind of going in that way, but I said it differently. But it's the same idea. Yeah, that's what I was. We're I was saying. you know we're about, talking about things we can't see, hmm. so you got to believe the people telling you what they're saying. Can you see my principle? Do I uh, demonstrate it, or does um, it get Loaded in all my uh, funniness. Well, but, see, but, I can't answer that for anybody else, but I I know the difference. What does a stranger know to, to see my words in chat? It wouldn't matter because whoever's reading what they're reading aren't concerned with you. They're reading words on a screen. It, who wrote it? At, like when I read a, a link on the Internet, I don't give two shits about who wrote it. I just read their name, give them credit for it. I paid his house off in three years on a 15-year loan. The smart part <laughs> out there, if you're going into debt for a house, was going with the 15 instead of the 30-year to start with. Or used to be common for the 20, and then the 15 was a smart bet. But now they've moved it off where it's 30-year loans. That's what they want you to say. But not me, mister. You ain't trapping me. Well, they trap, they trap me in Cirque. Well, there you go. That's part of, uh, that's part of my deal here for, for tomorrow. The stocking horse. It's a uh, beware. Don't fall for their trap. Okay, course, so wait a minute. It's the stocking horse. It's public relations and propaganda. Are you saying it's I fell for a trap? For the social perception and direction of our collective existence. That's what it is. But, no wonder we're not all trampled again. Hey, to death. But you're saying yeah. I got trapped? Wait a minute. I was you, more like looking at, I went into the lion's mouth knowing it's a lion. What? What? no trap about it. You went into the box yourself, the pod. You chose. I your went own to pod. the prison. Yeah, I walked in the prison. I just paint the walls the color I like, so I don't fill in prison. There you go. So again, it's that principle kind of thing where, you know, they got my body, but they don't have my mind. Can still think for myself. I still have the internet, so I've got the ability to use my free speech whenever I feel like it. Say whatever crazy yeah, ideas like come that. to mind. Hey, Saturday, what was it? Saturday, me and you were arguing because uh, I see men and f women as two separate genders. And as a rule, I have never thought of the female being the smarter of the two genders because of the way I was raised, I suppose. But that doesn't mean I think that men are all that fucking brilliant either. Just out of the two, you know, like I'd go to Grimm for technical um, support. Before Cirque. There you go. <clears throat> and Cirque could probably help me with all the shit that I got problems with. But, mm, females. I trust a guy just a little... It's hard to explain. It sounds like that sexist, racial, racial, racist kind of crap. And, no, it's just personal fucking preferences are determined by the, a person looking, at on, looking onto it. Like it's any of their fucking business. Like, like you know, if if Hans wants a gay accountant, I shouldn't make fun of him for it. But being I do. A, huh? Being a gay accountant. I don't know. The whole concept was just so funny. But I shouldn't do things like that. But I do. What? What do you do? Make fun All of people for being different. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I got so, I got something. Basically, is what it boils about, down to, isn't it? About being different too. What? On this broadcast about being different, it kind of ties it together. Are you different or are you indifferent? It's the uh, firing line. Oh, ouch! Oh, oh, no, uh, there's, a, there's a gun pointing. There's bullets flying in both directions. Yeah. Which yeah. Which side do you want to be on? Neither. Ha <laughs> ha You're a smart feller. By, you know, I avoid conflict. Man. There's no going back, sir. Yeah, conflict is for people that are willing to die. If you're not willing to die, stay out of the fucking argument. For the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. Big time. Oh yeah. Uh, we don't get it we don't get told half of the of the horrible shit that really goes on. We only get told select things to you know grind about. Are done. Okay. Come on, sing it with me, man. No, I'm not gonna sing anything. I'm just making a point. It's like the the bit with Palestine and Israel, it's been made in this religious Jewish Arab thing, and it's not. It's a land grab. It's got nothing to do with what what kind of people they. This is <laughs> this is an ass reaming for the whole world to watch and go, "Yep, do it." Because when you say no, you say no to the Jews. When you say no to the Jews, bad shit happens to you, I guess. What like that? What's I bought it? a place. Hey, what's well, that? Omar, things. wait, wait, wait. That Omar, you've been keeping up with her. That Omar, uh, congressman. I haven't been. I I uh, thought I didn't even know it was a, a woman until like a week or two. Yeah, I think the one I'm thinking about is the Palestinian, which would be Arab. So, well, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. You got a Palestinian congressman sitting uh, in, in the white in in the uh, Congress what, right now in Palestine. No, she's a fucking Palestinian, for fuck's sake. So where's she a, what's she, a senator? No, a congress. Her name In is Palestine. Omar, something Omar, Omar something. Anyway, they got, they got so, well, yeah, but the problem is she's against fucking Israel. So no matter what she says or how she says it, she's an Arab. <laughs> they're going to fucking, they're going to cook her in the press because of 9-11. And there's enough dummies out there that still don't get 9-11, and they're going to jump on the Arab bashing. I didn't even know they had a Congress in Palestine. No, oh she's fucking Palestinian blood or some fucking shit. Vinny, she's American. She's in America. In oh, I Congress. Palestinian. She claims to be a fucking Palestinian. I don't know her. It's not my Palestine. fault. I'm telling you what the like, goddamn paper says. So she's like these she's, dual... Dual citizen people. That I would on. assume, or they're see. This is what I mean about the fucking press. You know, she wears a fucking towel on her head, so you know she's an Arab of some kind or another. But you got Americans, just like Jews, they got Arab. <laughs> it's a fucking game. We're getting well, well, we're getting played. Am hmm? I an European American or what? To me, what am I? I don't give a fuck what you are. Doesn't interest me. I thought we was Americans, not Americans. You might be, but you know what? It's You're going to get you a, cut, a camp kick, buddy. It's, so, when? And I keep Grimner, hearing, I've been hearing this for 50, almost said, 60 years. Grimner said right. that she is Somalian. No, there's another one that's claiming to be Palestinian then. I can't think of fucking names. I do this all bad. I wasn't planning this for the show anyway, but I just got this urge because it crossed my mind, and I just seen a, a link on Minds the other day about it. I get an urge for chocolate sometimes. Oh. Chocolate! So. But, okay, Grim says the I, I Omar one is the Somalian. Well, okay, but they come out of this group that's against Trump. There's four of them. Man, and you are going so... Uh, slow down, feller. You what? are running... You are running off on all these little rabbit trails. You're going to fall in a hole, mister. <laughs> fall in any fucking hole. It's the drama of politics, you butt nugget. What are you, you talking a, about? A doobie roll. I'm uh, smoking. No, I got a glass and a uh, and a plate tonight. I've got a hold rock. on. Let me what? let me go open something here, before, and you go smoke something. But late. Let me go back. Okay, there. so I've got the wrong wrong name. There's another one. There's one. There's gang of four fucking congresswomen, and they've all got these bizarre backgrounds to the conservative male. The conservative male is going to look on every one of these four women and spit. And one of them is uh, representing somehow Palestine. And 
damn, when you do that, fuck, you're fucking with Israel. When you fuck with Israel, you don't get heard very much. I'll tell you that. Everything you say when you say fuck Israel, after fuck Israel is bullshit. They're going to call you out every time. Proof is in the pudding. I like but, pudding. What? What, what, what? I like pudding. What kind? Uh, all kinds. Banana pudding is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Banana pudding. Where do you grow bananas in Arkansas? You can grow bananas here in Arkansas. My uh, friends actually <laughs> grow a thing of uh, uh, banana and then she pick them up and uh, wrap the roots and burlap and put them in the garage and when it got real cold in the winter and then put them back out. Oh, doing a little constructive thinking, huh? Yeah, I, there's people that grow palm trees. Uh, yeah, palm trees. Yeah, I was still just driving to the point that you can't say anything negative about Israel. And if you do, the press will cook you. They will find other shit to cook you about. Like everybody that's against Israel is a nut job. That's their first one. That's what, you know, like uh, what free enslaved and, and Hansel do to me. You know, because they don't like me. Because they don't like me, I'm a drug addict. Because I smoke pot, you know, I'm a drug addict. Shit like that. Stupid crap. You're, you're dope. Yeah, I mean, it, it's all fine and good, and it works on people that don't know what you're talking about. But, you know, you come into a room full of potheads and start shooting your mouth off. You look kind of stupid. <laughs> Just as far as I'm concerned. Maybe I missed a meeting. I was at the wrong place. That was my problem. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. Where was uh, I sitting? I was at. Uh, uh, uh Poopster oh, made it to the R L and M. Who did? Poopster. Hmm. He's been here. Cool. Oh, cool. I just noticed. Uh, I'm slow. I, I only read like four words a minute. Here it is. I found it. Ah. Yeah. I, what did you yeah, find? Yeah, I have it in my uh, R log. I'm building too. Ah. The sovereign citizen mm. belief. Yeah, that'll be included in tomorrow's broadcast. Yeah, you're going to have a big old epic saga thing going on. Yeah, it's the contemporary sovereign belief system is uh, based on a decades old conspiracy theory. So like how they put this conspiracy theory, right? And then they go on to talk about common law mm -hmm. as being the basis for this uh, ideology of the sovereign citizen, which is an oxymoron. Uh, and then. Uh, going to speak about the ver very things that we are oppressed by, uh, including the law of the sea and international commerce. Under common law, or so they believe, says they, that the sovereigns would be free men. Under admiral admiralty, uh, <laughs> admiralty law, they are slaves and secret government forces have vested interest in keeping that away. It goes on to talk about uh, 1933 and the banding of the, of the gold system or standard that is and on down to uh tricky dicky in the 70s and uh, further and further so this is a very much uh worth the read because it's decipherable but you got to understand and hey i got a friend that was a writer over here uh ryan lentz uh, for the uh the chief executive for the hate watch uh, section of the southern poverty law center but you know it's good that he and i can speak yeah, yeah, I say I'm dropping this link over here. Read through that. That's not by hey, Ryan. I got a question for you. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Do you think that other people would hear this question in a different way? Like if uh, if I accused you of being weak, if you're dominated, would you feel personally insulted by this question or would you understand what I mean? Yeah, I'd probably be insulted. Now I want to slap you in the mouth. Right away. You wouldn't think it through first. Yeah, maybe. I'd let you go. I'd give you some slack. Have you, ever, have you ever been in a situation with the state where you felt dominated? Oh, yeah. No, but, because, be but did you feel weak as a result of that dominant feeling? You know what I mean or not? Oh, you know when you got your gut and you ain't, you ain't nothing to be done. For. Right, but that's not a moment of weakness. Now, could that moment of weakness be interpreted by other people as a bad thing? Well, sure, I mean. But you, 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 you yourself don't, though, right? I mean, when you face the dragon, you just smile and grab a can of water. <laughs> what can you do? 
Douse That's your hair. The fire is going to be coming. Oxymoron movement. Yeah. Well, we're we're all well. We're all trying to prove a point and you know and be right. And nobody's right. Everybody's fucking wrong. It's the only answer. To me, now to you, you might find something yeah. different. Yeah. Well, I could solve that all that in the one shot. All of what? Be specific. What all of it. Right? Who's wrong? Yeah. Right about that. <laughs> goes by what i say then benny's be. gonna speak I, shut I up will. listen to him everybody he's gonna talk <laughs> i am always right just go with that right there won't be no problem <laughs> Aren't don't we? you think i'm a fair man i Classic. think that's be how honest. No, hold yes on. be I, honest yeah am i not the fairest man that you know uh the and fairest not, not in the gay way yeah mm. not in the gay way not like mirror mirror on the wall wow you know dress and red shoes on and all well, on an electronic world <laughs> scale Come on, man. It, you're you're at it. least in good do company because i don't i don't see a, a big difference between most of the uh most of the mainstream of the- rlm guys that you know hang out they're like you to a point you know that stand-up thing you know the grimners the rob works the antis people that go back a ways with us you know through chat I, I ain't got no back down in me. Well, there's times I back down. True it d- grit. depends on the fight. No, I did not back down. You redirect. You move out. See, it's not a line. It's a point that you're, you're maneuvering about, right? Well, well, but what I was getting at is that, that idea of feeling weak because something dominates you. Well, sometimes wow. it's just a like a, it's a, like a label to, to move on, try something different. Quit. I like know. what cut. What uh, Circle called it. What? Interpretive, interpretive dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she stole that from me. Oh, yeah, because I want Congress to vote in, in interpretive John dance. Perkins. It's an old joke. I told her that a long time ago. But, you know, she uses parts of it. Uh, sneaky bride. Hey, you know what Grimner says that some uh, of these people don't get, especially the ones writing these articles over here. What? Southern Poverty Law Center. Citizens are, by definition, not sovereign. Right. They're slaves to the freaking state. That's the point. You are you are a possession of the freaking crown. You're a you know you're a servant. Fuck you and your fucking royal ass. Let's do some alms together. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to. I'm gonna go down to the bar tomorrow and have a couple of beers with the the local Danes and. Kept caught up on what's going on with Trump. Breathe it's in. fun to hear it. It's fun to hear foreigners tell me about the president of my country. <laughs> I get a giggle out of it, but Zing. that's just me. Anyway, feel it. Well, they didn't believe me when I told them that the uh, it was the Queen that wanted Trump to stay t- to stop here, not. Not the prime minister. And the prime minister proved it wasn't the prime minister. <laughs> Are you a retard? Oh, yeah, probably. But I'm not a sovereign citizen. Well, you're a slobbering citizen. Maybe. That, slobbering. that depends. Ask my wife. She'll tell you. <laughs> I'm out here having a drink. With what? Me. Oh, okay. No, nah, I can't travel anymore. Nah, I'm done traveling. I'm gonna stay I here and die. Cereal, man. I'm sure, I'm telling you, sure. Hey, I was trying to tell you about this new sex bot TV program they got on <coughs> Netflix. Mute so you can cough. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Her, put the joint. I know they've got all these like sex bot things going on, and what uh, what happens is. Somebody actually creates a robot that is so human, and it was built in a way that it can't be shut off by anybody. <laughs> and the damn thing actually decides who to bond with in its first awakening moments. And all, you know, oh man, they were just setting the—they're setting the stage really good. Are you ready for this? For what? Brave new world. I don't know. Probably not. I'll stay in this brave old world instead. And brag about how I don't. Well, you know, really and truly, our time on 
that we've had to share in this earth is uh, pretty pretty brief. Blink. What left of it's even briefer. Blink. It's a blink. Blink. Oh, and then the older you live, the you know the older the longer you live, the older you get to be. Whatever. You start to remember people at odd times from your past that you outlived. People that you know were relatives or whatever, and and they died in their young days, and here you are, <laughs> older, and they're gone. I wonder. I always wondered how that balances. I think it's a balance. I don't. I don't believe in all that good and bad shit. Well, you know, if you look at how brief in contrast to how uh, brief history actually is you look mm. uh look at the last uh, 50 years of our life say and mm. then go back to when you was born and then go back 50 years from that point and look at what a great transition it was from then to that to from back then to then and then from then until now it, it is such exponential in the, the rate that all of this history is is uh Headed for culmination, the Thing, end of the world yeah. as as we know it. Uh-huh. I, w- I would like to stay here from the description from Real Liberty Media that um, on our YouTube channel and and elsewhere that I've placed it. Just says uh, history is hard to know because of the paid propagandists. Maybe yeah, just, there you go. The way the story ends. Yep. MSM is floating about in a world of collapse. They try to sell it to you as mainstream. It's anything but that. It's not media, as the word used in modern thought. It is propaganda. Real Liberty Media, RLM, is a liberty-based alternative to the corporate lame-ass propaganda. That's clap. The sources out there. Most people refer to these sites and sources as mainstream media, MSM, or news. They are neither. Thanks, Grimner. I've pulled this out of some of his stuff here that he had done. And that's right. RealLibertyMedia.com. And we got hashtags and all that good business. And we are here to think and reason, raising expectations through thought-provoking episodes at reallibertymedia.com, rlmradio.xyz. Z. Z. What, what kind of thoughts were provoked in you? Fair use notice 17 USC section 106A-117. That's what I say. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I saw something on Minds today about the uh, 14th Amendment, all written out, all typed out and whatnot. Yeah. It's just nice to be reminded about <clears throat> what the government promised and then, you know, reneged on. Is that a Did I say that wrong yeah. again? What? Okay. Did they uh, they flip-flopped what? on it. They, they lied. Right. I said reneged. Okay. They lie. They, you know, they promise you the freaking moon and give you a ball of cheese. Come on now. If so. they if somebody says something that doesn't do it, is it a lie? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Lying by omission. Promising somebody and not doing it is just not following through. Lying by omission. Same thing. Don't promise. You know. Promise. Keep your mouth shut. It's easy to be quiet. But some people think it's really easy to blow their mouth off and make claims and promises that they can't ever complete. Well, they do it all the time. I don't. You know what I say? Mm -hmm. Uh, I know what I'm going to do after I've done it. (laughs) Exactly. Man, I'm telling people to, uh, I've tried having plans that never worked. Never. My friend gave me a rock. You know what I gave up on? Rocks. Having plans. Oh, plans? Yeah. yeah. You want to have gotta, plans? Yeah, I've made plans. Okay, go ahead. Make some plans. What are you going to do? I'll see if they happen after they're done. Yeah, I got this cool rock. Bring it. <laughs> they, people over in Fairfield Bay, you can find out on Facebook, Fairfield Bay Rocks. Yeah. But How many members they, do you have in your cult? I don't know. You don't know? They make rocks and they put them around for people to find. It's pretty hey, cool. I got four. Four rocks? Four cult members. Oh. In my cult. How Circle. many how many members do you have? Yeah, well, but the flash was cool and he mm-hmm. said a bunch of other then words. Mm. Well, yeah, I promised her the moon. 
luckily I, for me, I, I don't I, have to I, produce I don't, it. I don't last night. I, I, I not last on the moon for you. Well, I come from a land where people claim to have gone there and come back twice. But Good. they lost the technology to go back again, but they're going to go to Mars. So That's cool. I want to go. To Mars? Yeah, I hitchhike. With Goober? You know what the uh, what you don't want to leave behind? Your balls. No, come on, that's a serious question. The towel. What? The, towel, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Well, universe. how can I be serious with comedy about something that's comedy? No, <clears throat> you're confusing me now. Stop it. You've lost your sci-fi mind. Well, maybe so, but Goober wants to build a spaceship and escape. But he never says where he's going to go. <laughs> so, it leads me to wonder, but uh, hey. Yeah. Maybe he'll so meet up around Uranus with some Klingons. Oh, I hope <laughs> not. My wife, she will not like that very much. She I will have to. Something else funny, but I, I know, she would yeah, have to. Hey! Was he's like, I didn't know you was funny. I thought you were some serious guy and stuff. Me? Oh, I see you riding a bull. No, me. Oh. Uh, Fill my buck out. What, you know. what kind of cheese? Hmm. I, if, I thought I was funny. If, am I not funny? Am I funny? Do you find me funny? Funny? Ha ha. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're the funniest fucking guy on the whole damn planet. Let me tell you. Well, okay. You're, the, make you laugh. You're, you're the third funniest guy. There's two funnier than you at the moment. Uh, I'm stoned. Yeah. You know. Well, I know me. I... Why do you do this? You get all drug impaired on dude radio. Uh, because right. see, now you're gonna feel the that um, that story about how smoking makes you all stupid. See, because you said it yourself. You had to say I'm that. All relaxed. No, I ain't stupid. I didn't say that. You're, you're just a big old ah, dummy, dumbhead. Pot makes you stupid. Doesn't it? I'm all relaxed. <laughs> got all my things I just didn't put together. Now, I heard a story once about that peace pipe crap from the Indians. You know, let's uh, smoke the peace pipe. And I went to the older guy and said, what the fuck is a peace pipe? And they, the story is that the Indians would sit in a circle and smoke herbs from a pipe. And whatever the disagreement, they would smoke until they could talk about it without being mad at each other. If indeed they could communicate. And I thought it was a hell of a story because the more I smoke, the, the meaner I don't get. Yeah, me too. It really yeah. does. You know, even when you're pissed off, when you're high, it's still funny. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, I know it's disgusting and... And all this, that, but God damn it, it's just funny as hell. We're, we're living on a ball of shit, and everybody's croaking left and right by all these horrible fucking ways, right? Cancer, car accidents, heart attacks, nuclear freaking fallout, you name it. Drowning, shooting, stabbing, all kinds of these horrible fucking things happening all the time. Why do you think that happens like that? Because people are idiots. You think they're trained mm -hmm. monkey? Mm -hmm. What would what yeah. would the world? What do you think the world would be like if it wasn't for the uh, uh, domination of of evil in the motivating factor for how the system works? Well, it would be similar to where I'm at, where people don't cling to Bibles and political crap. You think Bibles are bad? Uh, okay, organized religion has turned out to be a complete failure, Vince. Now, I don't care what side of that coin you're I on. Disagree with that, there's a a great many. Of course you are. Out of, out but of church, the religion. shit is always going to be noticed, and the good is not. That's the way we are. That feed people, you know, that doesn't come from the. Uh, All right, but wait, wait, wait! Isn't isn't but that side? But wait, let me ask you something. Isn't no, that done out of humble and being hum, you know, humility? Are they doing it to be recognized, or are they doing it to do it? They most times are doing it to doing it. Then you're recognizing them proves what? Well, I don't have to recognize any of them, but the result and the product, the, the result of what comes out of it. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you realize that the the shitty stuff is always going to get the public yeah. attention. And it goes beyond even the uh, the broad prospect of all of that brought together in organization to the mere individual mm. that uh, many that you'll never, ever see the contribution that they make to well, bettering the world. I'll, I'll give you an example of something I, I remember from my hitchhiking days. Because, you know, traveling, you're, you're hitchhiking, you're here, you're there. And most of that shit blurs away. It's just life, nothing special. I had one specific day. I had to stop in this town and I had to go to a bank, do some kind of banking. I don't remember what it was for exactly. But the reason I remember the bank is because when I went in there, they had a teacher and a classroom full of little kids. And the little kids were on a field trip to see money. And whether they were telling them the truth and money's real and all that shit aside, it was... It was something kind of uh, like heartwarming in a way. I felt kind of cool about seeing the grown-ups, you know, participating in something social with these little kids, trying to show them where they're headed. And I think they were like 10 or 11 years old, somewhere in that area. So old enough to know there's, you know, something's coming. Huh. Well, and they got money. I don't know about. See, there you're gonna go. Personal questions. I saw a group of kids in a bank with a teacher doing a field trip like 30, 40 years ago. Well, that's probably 40. And I remember being in the bank because of the way I interpreted what I saw, not what they were doing. You don't get it? Yeah. Because I, I don't know. There's so little bad stuff that really happened. Most of the mundane like that would probably be mundane to people but well let's look what happened to donna she walked in and seen grandma cooking a cow's head making head cheese and she thought she was a witch i mean what kind of what could that wreck on a child a kid at such a young age well right but that's what grown-ups are supposed to correct is all the shit that you see that you're too young to understand and they supposed to coddle you through it somehow my dad didn't either. No, I had to see life the way it was. Kind of good in a way. I mean, there's a bright side to it, but mm, it's kind of unique, I suppose. Most kids don't, they don't handle shit very well because it's their, you know, their kids. I got this. I, there's a question from Donna for Graham. What kind of clown are you? A tramp? A Wait a minute. What? Face, white face or ICP? I like ICP summer songs, but I think August would be if I could get the right definition because I I play the clown of uh, Capitani Zani. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go look up the meaning of August and see if uh, August if that's the right one. Huh. You know, huh. And that's from Donna in the chat. Damn Donna. Yeah, I know, but I'm I didn't. Uh... Oh, I get it now. Okay. Yeah, he was being, uh, what's his name? Slapstick. No, remember that bad guy, uh, Joe Pesci. Joe? Oh, uh, you think I'm funny. I'm like a fucking clown. I make you laugh. I, I fuck you up, man. I, 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 I'm just kidding. Huh? But, yeah, he started. Because they're all sitting in the bar laughing and having a good time, and the guy just turns on everybody. Oh, you think I'm a fucking clown? I'll kick the fuck out of you. Slow wow. Down. Slow down, people. Yeah, but see, that's how cheap life is now. People believe that you can have screaming arguments in restaurants with guns and everything's cool. Sure, you ever noticed? Uh, yeah, the, the the shit. I've been listening to the dialogue through this uh, new sex bot show I found on Netflix, and they were they 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 make up shit, medical shit, dealing with this robot, and they just say things that we know today are not true, but they say them. So if you're watching the film and you don't know the difference and you believe what you're watching, you're gonna repeat what they say in the movie. As a fact. <laughs> Think about it. Really? Well, that's how we learn. We listen to other people talk. And I think what films just nailed is the pitchmen 
to sell the certain idea to the certain you know age br age group or you know uh, race something like that they got a clientele they're looking for and they know how to hit them with words so stock character clowns are related to the uh, uh, white face. Oh, right? you're talking about the clowns, and I'm talking about this movie thing. But yeah. hey, hey, it's just okay. They, well, I don't get no reference to that because I don't have the uh, the well Nick Netflix. You got it on? Yeah, the but I know you don't have the show. But it's the the idea still translates, I think, without well, having to uh, see. They're it. both the same though. That comedy and drama, you know, the uh, uh, frown and the laugh now and cry later and mm -hmm. uh, all that that uh, perception of the world the betrayal and the the whether it be the uh the bot or the uh the clown there okay but and, not to say there all these things don't exist what i say is that the availability to the public is going to be so minimal because it's so fucking expensive so we're going to get stories on tv about what it is because we're not rich enough to experience ourselves, so we're going to take the word of the television. Sure, why not? I mean, have you ever flown to Spain? Don't you know how the stupid conspiracy theories get put out there? It's the same type of way, broadcasted out there for the idiots to receive it. Global anybody warming. That, anybody that's wearing a tinfoil hat is the biggest idiot because that'll trap all the things inside do that. your head. Be like a microwave. Oh, man, could you imagine that with a cell phone or your, your Wi-Fi going in your house? Don't you think that crap would just go in there and bounce you and beat your brain to death? Uh, no, foil. no. Whoever made a tinfoil hat, what kind of craziness is that? I don't know, but I while know. you did that, Cirque came up and tapped me on the arm and scared the shit out of me. Because <laughs> I got headphones on. I didn't know she was down here. <laughs> uh, I, holy I, shit, don't do that. You scared the hell out of me here. I think I muted, but I'm not sure if I did. Anyway, yeah, it, did. it was funny. But, uh, yeah, I left something outside I needed to retrieve before I go upstairs. And I and she's right. I forgot all about it, so she needed to remind me. <laughs> bed? Huh? Start off the bed? Yeah, she. that's why I was surprised when she was down here. She's taking out Hannah. <laughs> and I got these big old headphones on, so I can't. I can't hear shit. I'm deaf and old. The fuck am I going to do? Grimner says he's not a clown. That's right. I'm a clown. Vinny will be I'm a clown. I'm hmm. Do you, Fantango? Oh, and yeah. Yet, wait, wait. Uh, earlier today on the RLM, I got into a disagreement, sort of. Anyway, I made a statement to somebody that was bragging up AI. And I believe AI is overrated. I think the AI that we're told about is one thing. Wonderful. The AI you know, that we use, personally use, where is it? <laughs> Never I mind. like the EI, EIO. <laughs> That's it? That's it. I, I juggle. I learned to juggle. So did Van Meter. I see that. I did too. I'm going to clown school now on the radio I was like, with you. I was like tossing two balls up in the air. I was working it. <laughs> two balls is not joking. Yeah, yeah. Dork. So, yeah. Wow. Hey man, let me show you. he was like a dude that was coming up to the he goes, Let me show you how to juggle, man. So I started practicing juggling uh, softballs, yeah. So I got to do it, yeah. I could juggle two balls with one hand or three with two hands. It was amazing. Amazing feet. Come on, yeah. come on. Man. Well, you know, Grimner just says, and I don't like kids either hmm well What's the kid don't you like clowns yeah well hmm. i think that little people are a product of the big people so if you don't like the little people it's probably because the big people suck huh i'm telling you i've been out here a while and still to this day when i pass people pushing little kids and like strollers and shit the young ones, year, two years old, they smile and wave at me when I walk by them. They yeah, might think I'm a clown because of the hair or something. Who knows? But every once in a while, I get a little one uh, waving at me and a big old grin on their face. What? Uh, I think we got a world record here. What? Uh, 
He said that, uh, said that uh, juggling is not complicated. He walked around Lake Superior juggling three stones. That has to be a world record. Well, he doesn't say around the entire... Okay, fucker. Uh, I'll be up in a little while. <laughs> Sneaky fucker. Creep Tell up her on me while I'm doing radio. You, sir. Yeah, Tell you me. should. She got me good, little fucker. <laughs> it's hard to get me, man. But when you do, it's like, wow, fuck. I fell for that. <laughs> anyway. Me and Sark are so much alike, I think. Sometimes. Yeah. In a, in a weird way. Yeah. You got that mental fucking crap going on. <laughs> I love her to death. Well, <laughs> some people are really, uh, they're stuck on this uh, education and quoting shit. You know? And last week, I made a comment about the bartender being exceptionally bright for a female. And I say that because most women don't go out of their way in public to be particularly bright or in it. They're just not. They don't. So the ones that do, I find, seem to always run into them. Hmm. You know, the, the kind like Sark, like Mary, like Kate, you know, uh, like Moose. People that talk to you about shit. You know? What? Yeah. Oh, no. I was... I was just looking back horrifically at some past relationship. Well, oh yeah, see, because we all we all got our shit, pal. But how it ties into balls? Yeah, it's like a wrecking ball trying to juggle a wrecking ball. Well, I think that the trick for me was to look at somebody else without comparing them to somebody else. I'm sorry, I was yawning. Yeah, did I bore you to yawning? No, it wasn't you. I was just yawning. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, well, I'm all relaxed. Okay, well, me, Donna's talking about she got involved with Head Start to undo the crappy parenting. And, yeah, at some point I had to understand that, you know, my dad grew up the way he's raising me. So this poor fucker doesn't know he's doing anything wrong. No, yeah, like, he had no idea. Because, I mean, they got this, this like, code. If I don't draw blood, then I'm not doing anything fucking wrong. And I mean, I'd have purple fucking bruises and shit, but no blood. He knew how to crack the fucking thing so it wouldn't draw blood. Good for you. But he didn't hit skin. He was pretty good about that. Kept it on the cloth, you know? I didn't get a whole lot of whippings. Oh man! Well, I was a trouble kid. I was a problem child. They raised a, you know, they raised me to think for myself. And then the first fucking minute I did it, then I get punished for doing it. Well, but it didn't got, stop me. I, I kept doing weapons, you know, overall and laughing. I mean, not yeah. like I wasn't beat or nothing like that. That's what I mean. It, he never drew blood. It wasn't like a a bloody massacre. It was just. Just that gorilla beating up a little kid, no matter how, how it really was, the way I remember is what matters. Well, last time I remember taking an ass whipping, I think I must have been about eight or nine year old. But I pulled a switchblade. <laughs> you tough bastard, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, no, it took me a few more years to get my nut up to face the gorilla. No, I wasn't going to do it and and end up in bigger shit than I was already in. So, but we came to terms when I was just before I hit 13, so never got too bad. And after that, he kind of backed down off me. But, you know, in those days in, uh, in the suburbs of Los Angeles, the work and class family's goal was to have their brightest go to college and be somebody. And they had me trapped. I thought... I fell into all that shit till I was just about 14. I went, wait a minute. <clears throat> Somebody else advised me on life in different ways. And I'm like, no, nah, I ain't going to do this. And in the long run, I was correct in my assumptions. And I saved myself a, what I think would have been a miserable life if I'd have gone the other way. I've mostly worked for myself my whole life starting as a kid. Yeah. Grass, but yeah, most of my life, I've. I found it uh, better to go out and make the money instead of making the money for somebody else. It takes more guts to be willing to fail than it does to 
be pampered by a paycheck. I had this one guy who was an electrician I did tree work for. He got mad because I did the job so so quick. I said, did I do everything that we agreed upon? Hmm. Yeah, hmm. but yeah, but you made more money than I made today. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. The expense of the tools and transportation and fuel and yeah, depends. If, you, if the guy you work for is not smarter than you are, that's going to happen. Same as like uh, uh, commission sales. Back in the day when sales was uh, still honest to a point, it was a good business to be in. You could make a de decent living and avoid all that tax and withholding and all that shit. It didn't even come up in that particular job, but, you know, the tax thing is something you got to ask to be involved in. And the way they get us is so sneaky, you don't know. You don't even see it coming. Did you, hey, see, huh? Huh? Did you see that shit? I did. Somebody had to tell me, man. I would have I would have never guessed in a million years that the way that the IRS traps you is by you signing the application to get uh, on their thing. Application? To, yeah. You could, haven't, haven't you seen the memes about, you know, the... IRS tells you to tell them how much you owe them, and then when you don't tell them the right number, you get in trouble. Well, if uh, they already know in the first place, why don't they just fucking bill you? You know, the uh, recent history <laughs> is uh, um, in the Oregon thing out there what? with what? my friend uh, Jason Patrick. <clears throat> After he was convicted by the judge, you know, a lot of stuff uh, there. But anyways... Uh, he had kind of tried to like resend all of his, uh, and before all that his uh, social security number and whatnot. And he, he, he quit using all that stuff. And then, so the judge, they were, she's going to put him back in prison if he didn't go get a state ID. He said, well, I got one. It's right here. It's got my name and picture on it from the, being released from prison. Uh, I had one of those well, yeah, for a while. Mm. Fact, a long time ago. I used it. Even. You're a bad Later. boy. Yeah. I used to be bad and bad, but Leroy Brown, he come up and gave me one day. And it looked like a scrap yard of flesh matter when we was all done. Well, it's like Carlin said, you know, I was Catholic until the age of reason. And that's how it, all this stuff strikes me is that whatever bad trait or habit or behavior you have, if it bothers you, then you'll change it. You know, something will come up and you'll go, I don't want to do that anymore. You do something different. Life is really Life. simple and we seem to make a clusterfuck out of it. I don't understand why all the, everybody's got to be right about stuff that doesn't have any value at all. Just chitter chatter bullshit. Doesn't mean anything. Smart ass is talking. It's, that's how I read all of it. It's all the same. I mean, Outside of a link to, you know, with a, a specific direction it's going in and, you know, visuals and verbals to tell you what it's about. But chitter chatter on a screen, please. And then to prove who you are or what you own or all this nonsense that nobody, what the fuck? I can type anything I like on the chat. Doesn't mean it's true. You know, I've read a book or two. It has to be true if you type it. Oh, I'm just saying, is some people go too far with the, the, that whole stuff. Uh, so I just go, I go off and play video games. I play a little bit, but I get bored quickly, you know. So, mm. but it's see, it's this refusing to maintain order in my society makes me behave a little freer than some other people. I think. Did. Do you see this in chat? Did you get sick, though, after you ate a whole, whole bar of soap? Who? Duh. He said he, he asked for another one. Oh, he's being a tough guy. Yeah, yeah and sure. he never your uh, oh, mouth washed out with soap. He said, Probably and who did that? Destroy and now your inside. IPods. Did you get high on that? What kind of soap was you eating, dude? He won't hear that for a few minutes or like a minute or something. Wow, we got a crew tonight on the RLM chitter-chattering about all kinds of stuff. 
We uh-huh. got people from all over the world. Well, no, some places. Tussie, look at that girl, too. I'd like to mm. wrestle her. I think I could take her. Who? Donna. Why? Because she's a toughie. Yeah, yeah, she's five foot tall and she weighs 90 pounds. I could take I, Donna. I Give me a break. I think I could take her. <laughs> Any. <laughs> Put them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go picking on some little tiny girl. Why don't you pick on Grimner? Oh, I know who you should pick on. Who? Hansel. But he's a big, tough Nazi feller. Yeah, I think he could whip his ass. Hey, I know what you should do. Have a spelling bee. No, I I suck at spelling. <laughs> so does Zans. Have you ever read his text? Come on. No, God, at least. Hey. <laughs> hey, he what? he owns more rent space than anybody. Because, <laughs> well, hey, if you shove your dick in enough faces, eventually somebody's gonna hey, kiss stop it. it. Quit. Hey, quit. Get I'm serious. <laughs> if okay, here I've got a I've got a a mathematical thing, and the number may vary, but pick a number in your mind, and if you approach it. that many females with the same question. Eventually, one of them is going to give you the right answer. Yeah. You just got to be consistent and persistent. Oh, man. I just look at this Tim right here. This is a twig out of a tree, man. So. Get out of my bag. It's my opinion that on the RLM and other chat sites, people believe if you type it enough times, sooner or later, you're going to believe it. I have spoken. Thank you. You're welcome. How about that? I don't know. You know what I don't like? What don't you like? I don't like crayons. crayons. I love crayons. Yeah, well, they taste like shit. You <laughs> anyway, we're we're at the end of a 20% no. off. Thanks for coming and, and uh, I'm so just radio loans. It's not as much fun. Doing it by myself is kind of so it's fun to make fun of you too oh, i don't mind all that <laughs> give a shit i mean crap i know the truth i mean i can go over to mrs dazzled and just go hey am i dazzling here you go yeah you're dazzling yeah and hey, look it, at donna. she says she was giving the moniker a donna man beater in the sixth grade <laughs> hey and if i'm really bored and i feel really down and don't feel good. I just go read some of Hansel's chat. <laughs> Self-esteem goes up 800%. I feel like a new man. Hey, we got a new show debuting tonight right here at reallibertymedia.com. You know tonight! That's right, at 11 p.m. Eastern. It is the poopster. The poopster, that is. I'm the, the poopster. Poops, it's poopster and Prince, Prince. Power Hour. Power Hour. Power Hour. At 11 p.m. on the East Coast. That's right. And tomorrow, I'll be back with a Ponder Gander at noon o'clock Central. That's right. 1 p.m. Eastern. The domesticated terrorist. Executed in black and white in much, much more. The definition black of Black and white. And uh, Grammy Mary's and a back at Miss Mary. Boom, boom, boom. Blasting off in a racket chair at 7 and reallibertymedia.com followed by what is it what is it tell it it's because it is a free for all freakers friday it's the freakers ball you all with the great grimner and the mighty moose girl 11 p.m eastern time hmm. i missed him donna good shot. yeah mary's only got three shows left yeah okay go cool on then we're back to saturday you tell it a little bit. Uh oh. Saturday I do a dark table. Dark, Twelve dark. o'clock noon somewhere. I think on the East Coast. Could be the East Coast. Then and Sunday. What? Yeah, we got fast finger time. We're playing trivia and listen to the blues beginning at noon o'clock Eastern time. That's right. Wow. Fast finger fun. Come on along. And then followed by Hal Anthony at three PM Eastern time. That is noon o'clock on the left coast. Get up, come along, get behind the woodshed. Hey now, who now? What you gonna do now? You stupid don't fix itself. Uh oh. Neither do that. 
So get behind the woodshed, y'all, right here at Real Liberty Media. Oh. Monday, we got real leftovers, 7 p.m. and Tuesday. We're doing uh, sometimes different times uh, in a perfect world, contrasting the occupation with me and Flash at times. <laughs> Gra Grammy Mary's, uh, that'll be her uh, uh, sec. That'll be her second to the last broadcast then. Yeah. Yeah, and she got three to go. The yeah, 30th so is on a Friday. Yeah. So there you go. And three. You're, you're like right here, the same place we're at right now, 20% uh, off, such a deal. You know, as like far that. as I can tell. Yeah, I just. Jacked I, all over mm, your program today, man. I don't care. That's what I brought you on for. I had fun. It's it good to argue with you. you you're argue. my favorite argumentative prick friend I know. You can't argue with me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can't. Yes, I fucking can.